in January 35, 15 years after the World War came to an end, the purely German population of the Saar territory will be forced to declare by vote whether they consider France or Germany their home country. Also, the answer to this absurd question is clearly realized to be a foregone conclusion. The so-called Saar problem continues to be in the center of European attention. This is due not so much to any serious doubt being entertained by anyone about the German character of the Saar, but to the obvious fact that the struggle for this German frontier territory waged by France with marked passion or even a delay in the decision will mean a very concrete danger to an ultimate and definite peaceful understanding between France and Germany. For this reason, the German government can never willingly consent to postponement of the Saar plebiscite. The time has now come when the story of the 150,000 Frenchmen living in the Saar territory, the famous historical lie by which President Wilson and the peace conference allowed themselves to be deceived into creating the whole Saar problem, is publicly denounced and that its consequences are righted. A plebiscite decision stipulating the status quo would, as not embodying the necessary guarantee for lasting peace, have to be considered out of the question. 800,000 Germans who have lived for 15 years as subjects of a strange government want to come home. That is their indisputable human, moral and national right. And that, incidentally, is a solution of the whole problem of Franco-German relations and of peace in Europe.